Well, it is the first Tuesday after Thanksgiving, and that's a pretty special day for a lot of East Texans because it is also Giving Tuesday, a day set aside to help nonprofits. And this year, many organizations really are suffering financially from the effects of the pandemic. The Morning Loop's Modern Deli Lopez joins us now with information on how you can help lend a hand on this special day. Good morning, Mara. Good morning, Dana. You're right. Just like everyone else this year, nonprofits have been impacted by the coronavirus. In many cases, they've continued to function while canceling large fundraising events that normally bring in a bulk of their funding for the year. While there are many of hundreds of nonprofits in East Texas that you can donate to today, United Way of Smith County has made it easy to browse the organizations by in Smith County by creating a website called TylerGives.org. So let's hear from a couple of the organizers. It's just um, going to be able to help us provide that for that mom, that single mom who has three children. Our first nonprofit is the Mentoring Alliance, an after-school, summer, and mentor connecting program. It's income-based child care services to help families who are struggling financially. Suzette Farr is the communication chair. She says Giving Tuesday is important so the nonprofit can continue to provide those low-cost services. There are definitely still very many moms out there like my mom and many of my friends who need and rely on the support of child care so that they can go to work. And I mean, now more than ever in the middle of a pandemic where so many people are being laid off and just having a job is just such a blessing. We do not want to um, make it harder for them by not having child care. Over at Camp V, the nonprofit is making it easier to assist veterans and their families in our community by providing free programs, resources, you name it. Um, we're a one-stop shop. That's what we're building towards. So when a veteran comes here, we don't want them to necessarily be scattered all over the community going from one place to the other to the other. Um, that just builds frustration. It sometimes builds that loss of connection. And we want to establish that warm relationship right when they walk in through our doors. Meals on Wheels is another organization that has continuously served the area during the pandemic, feeding seniors and those with disabilities in our community. We will be here delivering meals no matter what happens, if there is another lockdown, no matter what, Meals on Wheels Ministry will just keep going. Over at the Children's Advocacy Center, the team is working to minimize the trauma children face when they're exposed to physical and sexual abuse. They help parents who cannot afford these services but need that help. They usually have four fundraisers throughout the year and had to cancel all but one. That left us with about a $100,000 deficit. And we continued to see children throughout the pandemic and we continue to see even more now. So you can see there just how much these nonprofits do for the community and the huge financial need. Uh, so the United Way of Smith County will be matching donations up to $50,000 starting at 8 a.m. this morning on this Giving Tuesday. And you can learn more by visiting the TylerGives.org website. We've got you covered, Smith County. I'll send things back to you, Dana. All right, so many ways people can help, and it looks like it's needed now more than it ever has been.